lovely weather. Mrs. Brill is the nursery tidy. As tidy as I can make it, ma'am. If you only knew how hard it was to track her down. Really? Fancy that. Oh, they get through nannies for a flipping pastime Now when one returns they make this fearful fuss Never liked her much when she was here the last time At least she makes life easier for both of us Miss Brew, it is hard, isn't it? I don't know who else it'd be Why is it such a secret? Do you think that she's returned to get things back the way they were? The note says till we meet again She'll be here any moment. And now, where is George? George, dear, you're going to be surprised. Oh, you know very well I hate surprises at the best of times, whenever it. Not this one. Oh, George, I do believe you'll be proud of me for once. Precision and order, it's perfectly true. Can really make a difference. I found her for you. Clear thinking, sound judgment, and now we'll retain a home you can be proud of in Cherry Tree Lane. Hurry up, everybody, into the hall. I want you to find everything. Spit, spot, stick, and span. And span. Our sense of excitement is hard to contain. Order is Tara! Miss Andrew, it's so lovely to meet you at last. I do hope you had a good journey. It was thoroughly unpleasant. I never enjoy travel. You must be poor George's wife. Your flower beds are disgracefully untidy. Take my advice. Plant evergreens, or better still, have nothing there at all. Just a plain cement courtyard. <laughs> oh, but dear Miss Andrew, I'm so fond of flowers. Then you're a very silly woman. Now, where's George? Uh, he... I'm afraid he had a very urgent appointment. For which no doubt he was late as usual. It's not... Much of a house, is it? Uh, we like it. Then it doesn't take a lot to keep you happy. Look at the dust. There, there, oh, filth. Uh, well, we are rather short-staffed at the moment. Hasn't anyone ever cleaned these bookshelves? <laughs> <laughs> now, just a minute. Ah, uh, you must be the children. Pity. I suppose you don't know who I am. Yes, we do. You're the holy terror. Imprudent boy. In your chain, I suppose. Why aren't you wearing stockings? Well, I don't like them. Tut, what matters? I can see there is not a minute to lose. These children have been spoiled. I've arrived here just in time. By chance, I've brought the punishment that best befits the crime. Brimstone and treacle in cod liver oil. Liberal doses of each. These are the treats from which children recoil. The lessons I'm going to teach. Just follow my model in doubt. Molly Cottle, it may lead the irksome to irk. So seek satisfaction from punitive action. Brimstone and treacle will work open. Does it taste as bad as it smells? Wash open. Do I have you? Brimstone and treacle in carbonic soap. These are the tools of my trade. With spoonfuls of sugar, you don't have a hope of seeing what changes are made. Where manners are chronic, my diction's the tonic that's certain to wipe off that smack. So 
seek satisfaction from matronly fashion. Brimstone and treacle will work. Your son will go to boarding school at once. As for the girl, I shall take charge of her myself. I won't stand for whining or whindering or whimpering, crying or lying or sobbing or simpering. I fear it's clear that in these two such bad habits lurk. First the rattan to throttle, then uncork the bottle. Brimstone and treacle will work. Now show me my room. She can't stay. <laughs> They'll have to dismiss her. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm disappointed, really, I am. I really thought he was gonna be, you know, you know her with the umbrella. What are we going to do? The only thing we can do, run away. <laughs> 